in the hectic and busy life we lead. Perhaps no one is unfamiliar with the feeling of being distracted, lost in tangled thoughts, and unable to focus on a simple task. We often ask ourselves, why do I always procrastinate? Why can't I concentrate? And why does my mind always wander and fret? Today, let's explore a profound story about a conversation between an emperor and a humble yet admirable figure, Lao Tzu. What secret does Lao Tzu hold that led the king to resolve to change his life forever? Listen until the end of the story, and you'll discover how you can enhance your focus and better control your mind. In the 6th century BCE, a wise sage was born in China. His name was Lao Tzu. He was a humble and simple man to the extent that all his profound knowledge was valuable, and there was much to ponder in his every word. One day, when news of his wisdom reached the emperor of that time, the emperor did not believe it to be true. He could not accept anyone being wiser than himself, so the emperor eagerly wanted to meet Lao Tzu. After several attempts of sending his ministers to invite Lao Tzu, which were unsuccessful, the emperor finally decided to visit him directly in search of answers. When the emperor arrived at Lao Tzu's house, he saw it was a simple hut in a small garden. He found an old man in plain clothes tending to his vegetables in the garden. The emperor approached him and asked, Are you Lao Tzu? Lao Tzu replied, Yes, indeed I am. How may I assist you? The emperor then said, I have heard that you are a man of extraordinary wisdom, but I see you as quite ordinary with nothing remarkable about you. How can I know if you are truly extraordinary? Upon hearing this, Lao Tzu remained calm and replied to the emperor's challenge, saying, how can the ordinary see the extraordinary? The emperor was astonished by this statement. He remarked that Lao Tzu resembled a peasant, but carried the demeanor of a nobleman. He admitted, I am a ruler, yet I have never possessed your tranquility. I yearn for it, but my mind is always restless, filled with worries. Can you tell me how to attain such a peaceful mind? Lao Tzu responded, I can only show you, but first, you must do this. Come to me tomorrow morning before sunrise. Then Lao Tzu resumed his work silently. The emperor returned home that night, unable to sleep, curious about what Lao Tzu would say. The next morning, as Lao Tzu had instructed, the emperor arrived before sunrise and found him watering the plants. Lao Tzu instructed the emperor, Come here and help me water these remaining plants. Without assistance, use this watering can and water these three plants, starting from here and continue until the end. You must water each plant individually, but remember, while watering these plants, you must maintain absolute silence. Do not think of anything else. Just focus on watering the plants. If any thoughts arise in your mind, Stop there and start watering again from the beginning. When you finish watering all these plants, come to me. I will invite you for tea, and then I will tell you the next step. After saying this, Lao Zi went inside his house to rest and have tea. The emperor found this task strange, but assumed he could complete it within a few minutes. He started watering the plants, and as he moved from the first to the second plant, he began thinking about the garden in his palace, where others usually did such tasks. I have never held a watering can like this, he thought. But then he remembered the agreement. Whenever a thought arose, he had to start over. The emperor realized he had failed to control his thoughts. He understood that his honesty would help him learn from Lao Zi's wisdom. So he began watering from the beginning again, maintaining focus. 
He watered five plants and reached the sixth one, which seemed more withered than the others. He thought of the brutal wars, the ruined lands, and the enemies planning invasions of his kingdom. He started worrying about the security of his kingdom. At that moment, he realized his mind had wandered again. He had failed once more. Returning to the first plant, he watered it again, this time with greater determination. He watered all nine plants, but the last one appeared to be slightly wilted. He thought of the battles, the lives lost, and the bloodshed staining his land. He started worrying about the safety of his kingdom again. Realizing his mind had strayed once more, he stopped and accepted his failure. He was exhausted and sat down. He noticed Laozi still standing outside, observing everything. He approached Laozi and said, I am grateful for your honesty. Now, please share your secret with me. I will listen carefully. Lao Zi replied, When a mind is free of thoughts, the true power of the spirit emerges. Even a simple task can bring inner peace and infinite wisdom. You cannot accomplish this simple task because you cannot focus on it. You cannot focus because you have never trained your mind to have the power of concentration. It is like a child who has never learned to write. You have never trained to control your mind. Therefore, whenever your mind needs to focus on something, you lose your peace, worrying, and fluctuating. You have failed against your own thoughts. The Emperor learned a lesson and decided that from now on he would learn to master his mind and not let it control him, making him worry and fluctuate. He began training his mind to focus on tasks and practiced not thinking to attain the power of concentration. Through this story, we can see that if we want to develop in any area of life, we must have mental focus. Whether it's any task or in meditation, mental focus is crucial to help us attain the power of a thoughtless mind. Intelligence will arise, even though Lao Zi and Buddha lived in different times, they shared the same philosophy and thought. Both applied meditation, the art of not thinking, to control their minds, making them strong and powerful. This is the key to unlocking inner wisdom.